In this video, we'll discuss how to get started on the keto diet. Congratulations, you're ready for a new and improved you. There are so many wonderful benefits to the ketogenic diet, you can expect many positive changes, both physical and mental. So let's not delay and get the journey started. Clear your pantry. We're sure you have plenty of willpower, but there's no need to confront a kitchen filled with tempting sugars and carbohydrates. Make a clean sweep and pack the offending items in a box, then donate the loot to a needy neighbor or a soup kitchen. They will appreciate your gesture and you are on your way to a keto lifestyle. If you have a family, try to get them involved. And if they refuse to refrain from eating carbs and sugar, at least insist they do so away from home. It's a fair request. Weigh yourself. The keto diet does not require you to live by the tyranny of the scale. As a matter of fact, as you build up healthy muscles, you might notice a slight initial gain. That's great, so don't worry. You should, however, have an idea of what your starting point is. If you opted for the keto diet solely to lose weight, you'll be able to track your progress. But don't become a slave to the scale. The occasional weigh-in, perhaps once a week, is enough. What about your favorite meals? Perhaps the very thought of giving up your favorite foods has prevented you from getting started on the keto way of life. Relax. The truth is, for every dish that you love and can't live without, yes, that includes cheesecake and mashed potatoes, you can easily find a low-carb substitute that's just as tasty. First, let's consider items at your market labeled low-carbohydrate. Labels are frustratingly deceiving, and you'd have to be a nutritional expert to understand them. All too frequently, off-the-shelf, low-carb products have simply substituted sugars for carbs. So don't fall for that bit of deceit. You need to learn to read labels with the diligence that you'd read your wealthy uncle's will. But your best bet is to stay away from all these products and simply find healthier substitutes. Same goes for anything labeled low-fat, which inevitably means added sugars. Craving a taco? Use a lettuce wrap instead of a taco shell. You want rice or mashed potatoes? Grate or rice a cauliflower and you won't be able to tell the difference. Can't give up your favorite pasta dish? Turn a zucchini into zoodles by slicing it or using a spiral cutter and enjoy your pasta. You absolutely have to have your favorite dessert? On the keto diet, you can. Just bake it with almond flour and use unsweetened applesauce and or avocado to create some sweet smoothness. Learn about coconut oil, which can be used as a butter substitute in sauteing, frying, and baking. Coconut oil has incredible health benefits, especially for type 2 diabetes. On the keto diet, you'll be able to enjoy all your favorite meals, only better. Always stay hydrated. The keto diet tends to lower your insulin level, so your kidneys may be excreting more liquid than usual. Be sure to drink plenty of water. Condiments can be the enemy. Don't assume condiments don't count on a diet. On the keto diet, they most certainly do. Ketchup is filled with sugar. Not all salad dressings are equal. Read the label. And never opt for the fat-free version. They have merely substituted sugar for fat. Ordering salads when eating out is one of your best options, but beware of the dressing that that restaurant serves. Either ask about the ingredients or better, bring your own salad dressing. Don't hesitate to do that, even in a posh eatery where the mater d' might become spastic at the sight of you pulling salad dressing out of your bag. Explain to the server, without apologies, that you have a special dietary need and you will be using your own. Thank you very much. No further explanation is required. Keep track of your ketone level. It's especially important to remain aware of how your body is responding to the keto diet at the start of the diet, and you could do so by a simple urine test. You can also purchase a blood ketone meter. Test early in the morning before your exercise has the opportunity to fluctuate your ketone level. Friends and family can be annoying, bless their hearts. Those nearest and dearest to you may not always understand what you are doing when eating as a group they may put subtle pressure on you to just try a bite or one slice of cake won't kill you or worse, but I cooked it especially for you. It will take resolve to stick to your diet. It may help to fill up on keto-friendly snacks before you sit down and eat. Enjoy some nuts and avocado or just a leg of chicken before you eat and you will be less tempted. Celebrate. 
Celebratory occasions, especially if you're the guest of honor, can be a huge hurdle when the gang at the office or your parents enter a room with a cake yelling, surprise, on your birthday. It's hard to refuse, so try being a bit sneaky instead. By all means, gush over the offering. You're expected to do that. You can even help cut slices. Then discover a sudden and irresistible urge for coffee, which you verbalize loudly and clearly. Gently remove yourself from the center of activity to get coffee for yourself and anyone else. By the time anyone notices, hopefully they've missed the fact that you haven't eaten anything. Traveling. Traveling while on the keto diet can be a challenge, so be prepared. Pack a personal blender with some avocados and bananas for a few quick and healthful smoothies. Pack some anchovies or tuna for protein. Eating out. Eating out isn't as difficult as you may think. Even fast food places have salads these days. In any restaurant, stick to meat and vegetables and forgo the potatoes and noodles. You can even navigate the tricky maze in a Chinese restaurant. While abstaining from rice, you can enjoy the following. Clear soups, steamed fish with vegetables, egg foo young, stir-fried dishes, mushu without the wrappers are just a few suggestions. Ask your server if your meal can be prepared without the cornstarch that's frequently used as a thickener. Even if you end up in a fast food place that doesn't have a salad, simply toss the buns from your burger and just eat the meat. You can do the same at a friend's house or at a barbecue. Exercise. The keto diet will build muscle mass and give you added energy. Don't forget to incorporate exercise into your daily routine. It could be as simple as walking more, taking the stairs, or joining a gym. How long should I stay on a ketogenic diet? Well, the amount of time you spend on the diet can vary and should be discussed with your doctor. Many people who use the ketogenic diet for weight loss remain on the diet for several weeks until they've achieved a goal and then they turn to a paleo diet or other maintenance eating. We have listed several options in the conclusion of this video course. You do not want to lose weight only to return to your old eating habits. If you are on the ketogenic diet for medical or therapeutic reasons, check with your doctor to ascertain if you should remain on the diet for a longer period of time.